Hi everyone, welcome back to another lesson. This lesson is on three more weird signs of colon cancer that we can find on our skin. So this is a continuation of the first lesson where we looked at different skin manifestations of colon cancer. This one will be other skin manifestations and other associated genetic conditions that can cause skin manifestations and also increase our risk for colon cancer as well. So before we talk about those weird signs that we can see on our skin, let's talk about what colon cancer is. Colon cancer is also known as colorectal carcinoma or CRC. It's a cancer involving the large intestine and or rectum, and it's the third to fourth most common type of cancer. Now the typical symptoms of colon cancer include abdominal pain, bowel habit changes, and stool caliber changes, meaning that the stool changes in size, and in some cases it can become very thin in shape and it can be described as pencil shaped. Now, we talked about certain skin manifestations that can occur in the last lesson. One of those was what we call lesser trela sign, and if you want more information, please check out my first lesson on this topic. But the topic of this lesson is that there are other rare dermatological signs that can occur in colorectal carcinoma. We're going to talk about those in the next upcoming slides. So the first one we're going to talk about is dermatomyositis. So dermatomyositis in this particular context is known as perineoplastic dermatomyositis. Perineoplastic is a term we use to describe a condition that is caused by a tumor being present in the body in a different location. Often it's going to be unrelated to the tumor itself. In this case, it's perineoplastic dermatomyositis. Some individuals who have colon cancer can have this particular finding. And what we can see here is that we can see a heliotrope or periorbital erythema. So heliotrope or periorbital erythema is going to be a redness around the eyes. And we can also see it on the eyelids and the cheeks as well. So the upper cheeks can be affected. It may mimic a malar rash in systemic lupus erythematosus. We can also see Gautrin papules and Gautrin sign as well. So these Gautrin papules are these erythematous rough scaly papules on the joints of the fingers, so the phalangeal joints, and we can also see it on the elbows and the knees as well. And this is going to be a rare finding in colorectal carcinoma and in other cancers including gastric carcinoma and hepatocellular carcinoma or liver cancer. Another condition that we can see associated with colon cancer is what we call muratory syndrome. So muratory syndrome is going to be an autosomal dominant condition. So it's a heritable condition and it's autosomal dominant, meaning that we only need one allele. So one copy of a gene to have this condition. So this condition in general is going to increase our risk for colorectal cancer and some other cancers, which we'll mention here in a moment. And not all individuals who have this condition are going to get cancer, but it increases our risk. And it's due to a mutation in a mismatch repair protein. Mismatch repair proteins are the proteins used to repair errors in DNA synthesis. So it helps reduce the number of mutations. And this condition is itself a subtype of Lynch syndrome. So some of the dermatological manifestations we can see in muratory syndrome include sebaceous adenomas, which is what we see in this image here. We can also see keratoacanthomas, which is what we see in this image here, and we can also see sebaceous epitheliomas. So this condition, along with these dermatological manifestations, is associated with visceral cancers, so internal cancers, like colorectal carcinoma, and endometrial and urothelial cancers. And it's going to be more particularly important to look out for this condition in patients who have a family history of colorectal cancer and other types of cancers, like the ones we mentioned here, especially in young family members less than the age of 50. So younger patients who have especially colorectal carcinoma and then also present with these skin findings, this increases our suspicion that this patient may have muratory syndrome. And another condition we can see that has skin findings and increases our risk for colon cancer is what we call Cronkite Canada syndrome. So this syndrome involves hyperpigmented macules. So macules are flat skin lesions less than 10 millimeters in diameter, and they're going to be hyperpigmented, meaning that they're darkened in appearance. And it may be found on the upper body, including the face and neck and arms and hands. This condition also presents with alopecia or hair loss. It can start on the scalp, so patients can start losing their hair on their head, and then eventually can progress to the whole body losing hair. So that is a particular finding with patients who have Cronkite Canada syndrome. And then nail issues can also be something that patients can experience as well. So these include plate separation, discoloration of the nails, and issues with nail growth. This affects both fingers and toes. And this particular syndrome can be found rarely in metastatic colorectal carcinoma and in gastric carcinoma. So the dermatological manifestations we talked about in this lesson are going to be generally rare, but they can be associated with 
and underlying colorectal carcinoma. Please check my lesson on the signs and symptoms of colon cancer and on my full in-depth overview of colon cancer, including how it's diagnosed and how it's treated. If you found this lesson helpful, please like and subscribe for more lessons like this one. And as always, thanks so much for watching and hope to see you next time.